Okay, I'm just going to show the uh, basics of creating a symbol in C Electrical Building Plus. So I'm going to start by just drawing the graphics. I'm going to zoom in and just using the standard grid, I'm going to go to the draw menu, click on draw circle, and I'm just going to draw a power receptacle. I'm going to draw some lines, right clicking after each point there. And I'm going to just use control and wheel forwards and then use on the quick access toolbar, the trim element, click on the circle and I'm going to trim off those end little bits. So that's my graphics. Now at the moment, if I was to window around that and click on toggle the trackers visibility, I can see that this is the outer boundary of this symbol. Now if I was to block this symbol as a C electrical building plus symbol, then the connection point will automatically be added in the bottom left hand corner. So that's where I would be drawing my cable to. So before I go any further, I'm actually going to add a piece of connection point text. Draw text or control T. I'm just going to put in there a space. And then in the attributes, I'm going to say it's a connection point. So I'm going to go into connection, double click to set the attribute and then click where I want it here. So that's now where I'm going to be assigning my wire to. I'm going to then select window around the objects, right click and choose block. I then get a list of types of components that I can uh, block this as. So I'm going to say this is a socket. I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to assign identification. I'm just going to call this SK. And straight away, if I double click on this, I can see this is SK1. Now, not everything is being assigned to this, but that's now created that as a symbol with some default text. And we can add more attributes later if we want to. The display of the connection points under installation can be turned on or off using the connection command. And I can see where that connection point is. I'm now going to right click in the symbols panel, add a new database. I'm going to call it custom. And when I press enter, I've got a new symbol database. I'm going to right click, add a new folder, call it sockets. And where I drag this symbol from becomes the mirror point for when I insert it. Now, if I try and click and drag from this bottom point here, I can't actually drop it onto that folder. And the reason is in the installation section, I have cable rubber band turned on. So I'm going to turn that off. Now, if I click from this bottom point here, I'm going to turn off the trackers just to make it easier. From this bottom point, that's where I want to be holding it. Drop it on there and I'll call it socket one. So just in that process of choosing that point there, when I click to place the symbol, as I try to insert it, I can see it's automatically rotating if the auto rotate command is on to whichever object I've got placed in there. The distance away from the object, so if I click to place that, if I go to draw a line from this point and hit the space bar, I can see that distance there is actually 100 millimeters. Just to check how we set that distance, the offset, if I right click a bit of space on the page, go down to the page properties. And I can see here, there is a distance component offset from wall, which is set to 100.